Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today I'm going to start going through my vanity. I have decluttered this before, but of course it's been a while and new products have just cluttered it all up. My everyday makeup drawer is like overflowing. So it is time to do a little clean out. I'm feeling very motivated. The beginning of the year and this whole second trimester starting to feel better and feeling like I need to get my house in order. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. I have tons of home content coming. We're currently adding a bathroom to our upstairs. We are finishing up our kitchen refresh. I'm going to be designing the nursery for our little boy coming this summer. And then I'm going to be decluttering everything in the meantime. So there's going to be lots and lots of home stuff coming up. If you're interested in that kind of content, let me turn you around and show you what my vanity looks like. I have two sets of these drawers, one on this side of my vanity and then this one on the other side. So first we're going to start over here. Let me just show you a before of what's going on. This is my everyday makeup drawer. It's what I grab for the most. These are kind of like my all the time products, but there are just way too many things in here right now. It's just a little overcrowded. So I want to simplify this. And there's stuff back here, like my contacts, that it's hard to get to those things. So I just need to have a better system for this drawer. I'm probably not going to talk through every single product in every drawer just because that would be insane. But I will go through some of them. This is supposed to just be a brow gel and a mascara and a couple of tools. But it ended up being way more than that. So this is my favorite eyelash curler, the Shiseido one. I will link it below. It is just outstanding and then this is my lash comb i got it off of amazon i will link this as well it's the best one i've ever tried because the um, bristles are metal but they're also curved so they go with your eye so both of these are obviously going to be kept i have a couple of sponges in here i'm going to toss both of these because the sponge that i like is the eco or i think this is real techniques it's like the sugar crush or sugar rush the pink one. This is my favorite one. So I'm going to toss these ones. I have a couple of puffs too in here from Laura Mercier and I just don't use these. I use a brush all the time. So I'm going to get rid of these. Going through the actual mascaras, the only ones that I use out of these are the Voluminous Lash Paradise and the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. These are my two favorite and I layer them every single day. So the other mascaras in here, I'm going to get rid of. I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Fat full flat full fat lashes the milk mascara i have this one in both the regular and the waterproof i think these were from like boxycharm or something um this is the blink oh this is the lash primer i've had this open for a while so this wouldn't even be good anymore this laura mercier caviar volume mascara i don't like this one it just didn't work out for me this is the anastasia mascara getting rid of that i didn't really like this one either oh this is an eyeliner it shouldn't even be in here but this is the lash paradise eyeliner i am going to keep this but i'm going to put it in my eyeliners i didn't even realize i had this so i will move that over this is the grande brow brow gel i really like this but it is gone and this is the Laura Mercier brow gel. Love this. This actually might be my favorite one I've ever tried. It keeps my brows in place all day long, so I'm keeping that. This Hourglass brow gel is also gone. The Gimme brow is gone. I've been trying to make these last because I didn't have another one, but I do now, and they just ended up at the bottom. The same with this brow gel from ColourPop. This one was fine. It's not my favorite. I think I like the Laura Mercier the best because this one holds my brows the best followed by the hourglass and the gimme brow this is an hourglass brow pencil totally forgot i had this as well so i will keep that and this is the precisely my brow i'll keep that i've got a couple of eye caviars from laura mercier i'm going to reevaluate these when i get to the rest of them which are in the second to last drawer a couple of lip products and then the eye studio from maybelline i'm going to rinse this out and then i will put it back everything can go back in here that's going to so I just have my two mascaras, the brow gel that I still have some left in, the two brow pencils, and then my two tools, and the Maybelline Eye Studio. I think I'm going to find a different home for these, maybe, but I will put them in here for now. But that looks so much better. Moving over here, this has all kind of just grown to be together. 
Um, I'm going to keep all of these products because all of these are products that are my favorites, but they don't all need to live in this drawer because it is completely overwhelming. So this is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I love this. It does have a giant hole in it. It's kind of like cracked down, uh, but I'm going to keep this up here. This is my mood exposure. Love that blush. Um, actually, this is an eyeliner from Laura Mercier. This is the Tightline Cake Liner. I'm actually gonna put this over here. That makes more sense. This is the same, the Hydro Sealer from Tarte. This is the my regular color. I got a lighter color for winter. So I'm going to put this down in my empty, like unused, unopened stuff. This Buxom bl or bronzer I've been using almost every day and my Hourglass bronzer is one of my favorites. So these two will stay up here. And then out of these blushes, neither of these are my absolute favorite everyday one. I was trying them out and just left them up here. So I'm gonna put these down with the rest of my blushes. blushes. This is Songbird from Becca. This is definitely staying up here. And then this is Dim Infusion from Hourglass. I'm going to put this down below because this I like more on my skin tone in the summer. And then this is the only highlighter I have up here. This is gorgeous from Hourglass and I haven't really been wearing highlighter lately. I think I might keep it up here just because I might start wearing that. And then I have two of the Chanel cream bronzers because they reformulated. So this is the old one, the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is the Lace Beiges and this is the new formula. Um, I have just been using them both interchangeably, so I'm going to keep the older one up here so that I can work through that one before I'm going through the new one. This is my Translucent Loose Powder from Laura Mercier. I'm going to keep this one. I also have the Honey Shade. This is too deep for me now that my skin is not tan, so I will keep the uh, Translucent one up here. The Charlotte Tilbury Blush I'm going to put below with my blushes and the bronzer duo I'm going to put below as well because I don't use these every single day. And then I'm going to keep my hydro sealer, but I'm going to put my naked concealers down below. And then this is my secret brightening powder from Laura Mercier. I am going to keep this up here too. It was kind of like in the back where it shouldn't even even bend. So it will fit in one of these two now. So I'm gonna clean these out and then I will put everything back. Okay, these are the products that I'm keeping up here. So I just need to figure out how to organize them. I don't think this drawer will shut with some of them sideways like that, so I'll have to see. I have a feeling it's gonna be annoying with this, um, just because I don't use this every day. So I actually might just put this down below and then I will see if I grab for it. If I don't, then I will leave it down there. If I do start grabbing for it, I can always put it back up here, but I wanna just be able to grab this concealer really easily. I want everything in here to be as accessible as possible. So all of these products are ones that I reach for almost every single day. Moving on back here, I've got lash glue, a pair of lashes I will probably never wear. I have lashes all the way back here as well. These are individual lashes, which are ones that I actually will wear. So I'm going to get rid of these, but I will keep these. I've got more lip products. This little mirror that I really like. I've got extra contacts. I don't even know if these are my right prescription or not. So I'll have to look at that. Oh, this is a brow pomade that is it's yeah not good it's probably been dried up forever so i'm gonna get rid of that i don't use this because i have this one so i'll get rid of this and then i've just got some other tools like my scissors a couple pairs of tweezers and some replacements for my lash curler and I don't know what this is. I think this is brow glue or lash glue as well, which I will get rid of that. So the only thing I'm gonna keep in here are the lashes. Actually, these are gonna go down below because I don't wear lashes every day and this is my everyday drawer. So these are gonna go down. So I will keep these tools in here and, and this will be a good spot for my lip stuff. Even though I don't need all of these in here, I'll go back through these and move them later. And then these are my contacts. And I just have this travel contact solution. 
I think I'm just going to leave this back here because I only change them once every two weeks. So I don't need to be reaching back there all the time and I can still use that space for that. I do have these other two setting sprays that I don't use every day. I want to keep both of these. So I am gonna just put them below. This is the finished look at the everyday makeup drawer. I'm very proud of this. This looks really, really good to me. Mm -hmm.